Hi guys, this is Tash, the Starcross Stitcher. How are you going? I hope you're all well. Um, it's been a really long time. I know, it has. I'm very sorry. <laughs> um, my life's been crazy. I moved house and... Um, I don't know, I've been working hard and things are weird. <laughs> um, the new house is really great. It's huge and it's very nice and it's so big and like actually it feels like it's echoey because we don't have curtains, you know, we just have blinds and we don't have things on the walls yet so we're still settling in. Most of the boxes are unpacked and it's so great. It's really nice to be in a big house and to have lots of room. I've got my own stitching room. I'm not ready to give you a stitchy room tool yet because I haven't, I don't have my chair yet. I haven't sorted out all my charts and so on. But it's coming together and I'm really happy. Um, I've got a half day from work today because I worked until midnight last night putting changes into production so I decided I'm gonna come home early. It's Friday and I'm coming home at 11 a.m. and having a short day so I have time to do some washing <laughs> and make a floss tube video because it's been too long. So works are horrible at the moment. I've just moved on to a new project in big data um, which sounds really exciting. Um, and it is exciting, it will be exciting but the project is really disorganized and crazy at the moment and I don't know what's going on. <laughs> um, but yeah, get, getting to work with big data, um, Hadoop stuff is pretty interesting. So yeah, works good, interesting, yeah, let's just go with good. Um, what else? There's some, yeah, life is mostly the same. There's a few other life things going on, but nothing bad. It's all good. Um, I'm just going to get onto the stitching because I'm not good at the small talk part of the video. <laughs> so let's start with the finish because I'm excited about this one. This is Red Skies at Night by Mirabilia. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, um, I think I showed you my progress on this a little while ago. As you can see, I've now finished it. Um, I don't know if you can see how gigantic these beads here are on the border. Um, I wasn't sure about them at first, but after a while, I think they work. Like, you know, the look of this thing is kind of one of those... You know when you go to those weird shops that have all this lace and ribbons and floral stuff and everything's like really heavily pearly beaded? Looks like that. They do look like pearls. Um, but I think it turned out very pretty. I like it a lot. There's a lot of beads on this thing. All here in the water and in the sky. It's really pretty. I like it. Um, yeah, Red Skies at Night by Mirabilia. The fabric is 32 count Belfast from Picture This Plus in the colour Valor. Um, and the pattern came from this book, because everybody keeps asking me. It's called In Celebration of 40 Years by Wichelt. And this book has lots of patterns from Mill Hill and Perman and other things. And the pattern is in here. If I can find it, I will show you. There it is. Look, mine looks just like the pattern. <laughs> um, yeah, I love this. I'm very happy with it. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's just going to sit here on my pile of unfully finished finishes and look pretty for a while. Yeah, so I did get a finish even though I moved house. I didn't stitch for nearly two weeks last month. Um, just the moving and being disorganized and stuff didn't work out really well. Um, before the move, I was doing some stitching. I worked on Sir and JD. I know I showed you this a while ago. I know I've showed it on Instagram, but here is my progress so far on Sir and JD. This is the middle here, pretty much. So I'm working down and that's the bottom of the fabric there. So at the bottom here is this big thing with two peacocks. Um, I think that's mainly it. Two gigantic peacocks at the bottom. Um, I love this bit. This V. I love it. And this part here just looks really pretty. Um, this is gorgeous. I love it. There's a lot more work to do on it. Um, you know, of course, I still have to do the whole top part. Um, but yeah, it's coming along really well. I haven't worked on it for a while. Um, but I think I will pick it up again before the end of the year because... I like it and I enjoy working on it and the finished product is going to be gorgeous. So that's Sirin JD. Um, it's by The Sampler Cove. The fabric is 32 count black Belfast. 
and Swigart. Uh, stay. No. Stay. Okay. Um, I've also been working on, this was my new start on the 17th of last month. It's one of those Mill Hill stockings. This is the Joyful stocking. I'm doing these for um, Christmas presents for friends of the family and so on. Um, so here's where I'm up to on that. Just started attaching the beads and you know this other part with the joy, the extra parts. So obviously you cut these parts out and attach them to here just with glue or a tacking stitch and then yeah they always look weird at this point of the process they're kind of half done and very patchy and so on but they're very cute when they're finished so I'll probably finish this today um, all I have to do for the rest of the day is get some washing done I can see it out the window that's why I'm looking um, the weather's good that's nice um, and then stitch that's all I have to do today Yay. Um, so that's my whip the only other thing I have to show you is a new start. Um, there is a stitch along going on. I think it's in the mirror mirror on the wall group and it's called the Movember stitch along. And the idea is that in November you'll start a Mirabilia Mermaid and you'll finish it by next, next November. So I started Merchant Mermaid by Mirabilia. I know everyone's seen this. She's very pretty. Um, I haven't done that much and I'm going to have to detach it from my Lowry stand just a minute. Okay. So I've just done the middle part. This obviously goes right down the middle of her body, as you can see. So still a very long way to go. I only worked on this for a couple of nights. Um, disapproving nun is very unhappy that mermaids are flaunting their stuff in the sea. Um, yep, that's that one. I'm all out of practice for making videos. I don't know what to say anymore. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, haul. I don't have any haul. <laughs> um, I have been very good. Also, I've been moving, so I haven't had much time to shop. I actually did sign up for the Under the Sea Fabric of the Month. Um, and I ordered some fabric from her, and that's on its way, as well as my first fabric of the month. Um, I got shipping notices about that. Um, I picture this plus order. I just paid for the shipping on that this morning, so that'll be coming very soon. Um, I also signed up for the Colour Cascades Fabric of the Month in September. Yeah. So I paid this week for the November one, and I still haven't even received September, so I don't know what's going on with that. Um, I know Tammy is perpetually behind. It's just something you have to deal with if you sign up to her Fabric of the Month. But I didn't realise that she was more than three months behind. That's, um... Yeah. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I'll just wait patiently, I suppose. Um, the only thing I have received is a gift from someone. Um, so someone who won one of my 1000 subscriber, subscriber giveaways was someone called Jerry, and she sent me a, like a, a present to say thank you. It's a chart that she thought she wouldn't stitch. Um, and it's this one. It's one of the, um, it's a tapestry by Clooney. Clooney? I don't know Clooney's first name. You know these tapestries with the maiden and the unicorn. And they're all called a sense of taste, a sense of touch or something. And this is all in German, so I actually don't know. Oh, it just says lady with unicorn. So this is lady with unicorn. I'm failing at this, my gosh. Um, yeah. And it is a birder pattern. It's all in German, I believe. I haven't opened it yet. Um... I think it's, so Jerry said this is charted for some German wools um, that you can't get. So Jerry has actually converted all the colours into DMC and Anchor for me. For herself too, because it's part of a series of four. And Jerry has stitched the other three, or she stitched two of them. She's got one in progress. And this last one, she said that she probably isn't going to get to stitching. So she sent it to me. She also sent me the fabric. Nice. Um, it's 22 count Hardanger in... Um, the color russet which is good um she gave me she <laughs> looked at this picture and converted the colors to dmc and anchor so i'm gonna have to order the threads because while i do have all the dmc colors i don't have any anchor colors so i'll need to get the threads and then i'm pretty keen to start this because i love it i think it's beautiful so pretty 
Um, and I'm really, really glad I have the red fabric <laughs> and I don't have to stitch all of that red background. Um, yeah, so I'm very, I'm super excited to start this. If I had the anchor, thre anchor threads now, it would have already been started. <laughs> um, because I have no self-control. But there you go. Um, and in the package, she also sent a little gift. It's a bookmark she made. How can I show you this? There we go. Oh, upside down. I think it's this way. I don't actually know which way it goes. She said it's a beastie. Um, it looks very Celtic to me. Looks like a a ram or something. Yeah, it's just so pretty. Anyway, I've got um, a lot of other gifts that people have made me hanging up. I've got one of those magnet boards from Ikea up there and it's got hooks on the bottom. And I've hung a lot of things that people have gifted me. So I'll put this up there as well. I, and I'm going to put it this way because I think this is the right way. But I have no idea. <laughs> looks Celtic and I love this, this these green colors I love what she did with the beads on the end so nice Jerry thank you so much it's so kind of you um, I'm very excited to start I just need to get a hold of all of those threads and then I will um, so that's it I think I think that's all I have to tell you um, it's only a quick video yeah 11 minutes I think that's my quickest video for a long time there are other things. I've had another issue of Inspirations magazine that I can do a flip through of. Um, I've had a, a project turn into a UFO because I'm going to do a restart with a slightly different pattern. Same picture, but different pattern. I'll explain at another time, um, but that's something for the future. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's all I have to say. <laughs> a quick video. Um, I hope you're all really well. Um, I'll try and make another video when some of my fabric gets here and I'll have something to show you. Um, I'm really much more settled in the house now. I've got the whole weekend to stitch so I'll probably have some progress to show you as well because I realised I didn't have much progress today. It's been a busy month. Um, yeah. So, I'll see you all next time. Have a great week or two. Bye bye!